What are simple adult things that give you anxiety? Dudes, asking for samples at Costco somehow makes me feel like the greediest, most entitled person alive. Take a sample, put it in your mouth, nod your head in approval, buy an entire bag of sampled product, go to next aisle, come behind the sample giver, and put the bag back into the freezer without the sample giver seeing, guilt free. This sounds like the start of a curb style situation, you all can just take samples and walk away. Companies are literally paying those people, to give you as many free samples as it takes for you to buy their product. Just take it, and consider it a perk of your membership. One time me and my cousin were really hungry and his parents were Costco shopping, so we kept going around and getting drink, ice cream, and pizza samples, until we were cut off. Totally worth it, and we weren't hungry anymore. We were 10 years old at the time. Paying for my existence at the end of each month. Pretty much any gathering with people I don't see often. Applications forms formal documents of any kind. Arg, I have to renew my car insurance. I know I should shop around, and it's actually really straightforward, but I get anxious, put it off, and will probably end up paying more than I should, because of my fuckery. Making a phone call, I don't know why, but for some reason, that gives me major anxiety. Ordering pizza high is incredibly stressful. I've noticed nobody ever wants to be the one to do it. And just talking to people you usually text can feel far too on the spot or personal. Being sold to upsold at stores. I'm so bad at saying no and it always makes me feel super awkward. Like just let me get what I came for and leave. It's a good way to get me never to return to your store again and instead order from Amazon. Years back I was looking for a new TV and against my better judgment I went to a store where employees are commission based. I already had a TV in mind as I like to do my research, however I still wanted to browse a bit. I was in that store no longer than 5 minutes, employee approaches me and I explain the situation. While he still goes on his rant, he finally got the hint to leave me alone, or so I thought. He comes walking back about a minute later to ask me about financing. I looked at my so and said welp we are done here. As we walked out I seen his fellow employee laughing at the entire situation. Yeah, that's annoying. Street vendors are worse for me though. Least in a store, I'm in the context, but being accosted on the street while I'm walking, minding my own business, stresses me out. Office small talk, I hate it, and I barely understand it. I started a new job and a lady came in. She introduced herself and said, I heard you're the most quiet person in the office. She started laughing as I sat there quiet wondering what was so funny about it. Yes, exactly, stuff like that. I never know what to say, so usually I just say nothing, or smile and make some non-committal noise. The problem with being the quiet person at an office, is that everyone comes to me to gossip or complain about other cowhawkers, because they can vent, and I'll say little to nothing in response, and they know I'll never repeat the gossip back to anyone else, because frankly I couldn't care less about the office politics here, and who did what. I've become everyone's silent agony aunt. After 10 seconds you go, have I lived up to expectations? One does not simply go to a dentist. I'm so surprised I had to scroll down this far before having my first out loud chuckle. Nicely put, sir. I haven't been since 2010. I need to go. I have dental insurance, but I just can't make myself make an appointment. I brush every day, floss sometimes, and none of my teeth hurt, so I just keep pushing it off. Government offices, DMVs, society security office, anything along those lines. You are lucky you don't need to rely on the websites for anything. You think trying to get something done in person is bad. The websites are a whole new level of frustrating. Using a small paycheck to pay bills. Having to talk to anyone outside my family friend. Strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Room full of noises, expectations to contribute to small talk, waking up with a new pain somewhere, getting pulled over by police, when you have no idea why, getting cornered into a political debate you didn't ask for, having to leave my apartment for anything, driving past cops, 
never have anything illegal in the car, and can be driving the speed limit, but I feel like they follow me for miles at a time, while cars driving much faster than me are ignored. Buying anything. I'll recount my money until it drives me insane, I'll even give the cashier extra bills, because I'm so paranoid that I didn't give them enough. I never want to go through that awkward interaction of you need x amount more and not having it. This is why I always pay with card. I was out applying for jobs today. The worst. High five for doing it though. That always takes courage. I relate. Sending emails. I've always been terrible at them and fret over my wording constantly. Yeah, particularly emails to 10 plus people terrify me. I'm about to make a fool of myself and half the world will know about it. Definitely, the more people are messaging, the more pressure added. Directions. All roads, exits, interstates, highways look the same to me. I have the worst sense of direction. Making outbound calls for appointments, simple inquiries, orders, uh, paying my bills. I just moved out on my own a few months ago. I know I have enough money in my account, but it still get nervous until I see the payment confirmation email. Making a left hand turn at a busy two way stop. Ordering my own food at restaurants, I'm terrified that I'll somehow accidentally offend the waiter while I'm ordering my burger. Any dealing with a bank or applying for CR. I'm in my 40s, business owner with a family and reasonably affluent, and never been turned down for CR and never missed a repayment in my life. Still fills me with terror though. Being invited to a party by the host, where I know no one by the host. Speaking to large groups. Interestingly it is the anticipation of the speaking event. Once I'm in the moment I immediately relax and almost enjoy it. People tell me I'm pretty good at public speaking, but I still feel anxious in advance. Talking to my boss, in any context. I'm a 30 year old man that's just now starting to learn how to drive, and it's terrifying, because I'm not used to it. If it makes you feel any better, my mother is in her 60s and still hasn't learned to drive. Trying to determine the difference between want and need. Do I want to take this weekend, and just literally do nothing to rest? Or do I literally need to give my brain and body a weekend to veg out for the sake of my mental health? Do I need to drive a fuel efficient economically viable car, or do I just want to feel like I'm making a smart choice, even if I prefer something fun like a jeep? Stuff like this. Yes, I struggle with this too. Driving. I have been driving from age 16, 42 now, and have never caused an accident, but every time I control a car I think about how many people die in road accidents. It's low level anxiety, and it keeps me alert, but I will never feel comfortable driving. Cars are pretty much fast moving death machines, and every ride without an accident is a blessing. Checking my emails. My last manager didn't like me, my face didn't fit. I always felt anxious in my role, and was always getting into bother. I dreaded every email from her. I'm now in a new job which I love, my managers and colleagues are lovely and I'm happy, but I'm getting into bother again as I'm missing important emails. What I haven't told my manager is, that I now have a genuine fear of logging on. Checking my mail, had a few bad letters in the past now always dread them to the point, that my partner opens all my mail. If I can't handle a small kitchen, how can I handle a dozen patients? I guess I got this undiscovered knack for caring for people. Little did I know. I guess my anxiety will go away then. Going to the grocery store. Everyone is depressed or sad trudging along after they get out of work. I'm not used to that kind of low morale and overbearing soul crushing negativity. So I go at 3 or 4 in the morning. Being put on hold. Do I keep listening or do I have time to go make some food? What if I take a bite of my food, just as they take me off hold? I should have opted for their ring back service opts for ring back service. So what do I do now? Just wait. If I go for a shower and they call me will I hear the phone ring? Now I can't call anyone as they might call me and get the engaged tone. Yes I need help. Locking my car door. I somehow always go back to my car to see if it's really locked. Twice. Checking my bank statement. I always cover my eyes before actually looking, even though I know it's gonna be bad anyway. Going out during the day. 
I still feel like I'm supposed to be in school or something, even when it's been years since I graduated. Going to the bank for literally any reason. I'm a father of two, and yet every time I talk to someone at a bank I have this feeling, like I have signed something incorrectly, so I will be put in jail and my adult car be revoked. Getting calls from unknown numbers. I don't answer them. They're all telemarketers and scammers. If someone I know is calling from a new number they'll leave a message, or more likely text. Taking my kids to the doctor. I'm always nervous that I'm doing something wrong or my two-year-old isn't eating enough he eats like a grown man, but he doesn't gain much weight or my daughter isn't meeting milestones on time. I know my kids are healthy, but I want the best for them. Driving in the car with someone, anxiously finding something to talk about, without any awkward silences. Please stop referring to being nervous as having anxiety, they are not the same thing. Knowing my little girl will soon be doing math homework I'll have to help with. I cannot do math. I've tried band tried. Lmao Uband uses a lot of math surprisingly. Anything regarding my financial future mortgage, retirement plans, pension plans. Answering the door and paying for restaurant food delivery at my home. Also, answering the phone. Getting a haircut has never gotten easier. Getting a haircut or an oil change. I don't know what it is, but those are tasks that fill me with dread every time. Driving in peak hour traffic. Driving in the rain. Driving on an unfamiliar road. I think driving in general gets me very anxious. Talking to customer service in any situation. Storms. Ever since I bought a house, and I'm responsible for any damage every storm scares me. Getting money of an ATM. You get anxiety when it comes to the pin. Sending professional emails. I will stare at a 3 sentence email for half an hour, before I can bring myself to hit, send for fear, that my tone will come across wrong. Phone calls to people you know or to places. Asking a customer assistant for help in a store. Going to visit best friends you haven't seen in months. Using a telephone, and checking the mail. Conversing with the older members of my family. I'm in my early 20s, and I feel I don't have anything meaningful to say except provide small talk. I hate shopping for insurance of any kind. Making an appointment, anything involving cars. Pumping gas, car washes, and parking. Asking to go shorter on a haircut. Someone asking what I'm doing this weekend, or what I did last weekend, or last night, or literally any time. I literally never know what I'm doing, or did unless I'm already thinking about it preparing to do it. I dky but it feel, like I have to mentally push open a huge metal vault door, just to retrieve the information and no one understands that. It's just like a glitch in my memory. It also seems really suspicious them where did you go last night, me I honestly have no clue. I have the same problem at the daily stand-up meetings at work, where we are supposed to give an overview of what we did the last day. I only remember what I was working on when you interrupted me for this meeting, and I'll be lucky if I still remember that underscore by the time it's over. That sounds like a nightmare I'd have to ask them to come back to me in a couple minutes. When the phone rings at work, I have a small panic attack. Asking for a restaurant to fix something they messed up on my order. Ordering something through the drive through Calling the doctor to make an appointment. Having your grocery scanned, and seeing the cost go up, and realizing you might not have enough money to pay for them. Getting the mail. I have informed delivery, so I just check my email, but twice I've gotten eyes letters. Ever since then, it's been stressful. Thinking about moving out tbh. 22 meters it's not, like I want to move out, but I don't want to spend half or even more money on rent. Buying a flat OE something is out of the question, since you have to spend around 250k for one, and I don't want to be in debt for 30 years. Presenting to the CEO usually causes me to lose some sleep the night before. Paying rent and shoveling snow. I used to love the snow in New York, until I became an adult. Texting ordering food figuring out how to respond to conversations basically any kind of communication, and walking by myself. Driving to a place I've never been before, or driving on the highway. Dealing with people that I deem to be superiors or important for some reason. Managing money and phone calls. I can do them both, but they make me really anxious. 
order food from restaurants. I never go inside restaurants without having someone with me to place my order. Buying things. I hate it. They try to make conversation and I just want to buy my stuff. I guess that comes in par with talking to people.